what's up you guys, it's your boy Jose Zaniga and for today I wanted to talk to you guys about 8 fall fashion and winter rules that every guy should follow. Now that fall and winter's around the corner and you're going to try to look more stylish, there's certain things and tweaks that you can do to your wardrobe, to your clothing to be prepared for fall and overall just look more stylish. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, you're gonna wanna waterproof your attire. So for example, your sneakers. Easy way to waterproof these is with a candle. You can literally take a candlestick and using the wax from a candlestick and a blow dryer, you can rub the wax on the canvas sneaker and then using a blow dryer on high heat, seal all of that in and within seconds and pretty much for free, you have waterproofed your sneakers. You can do the same thing with your top coats or jackets. Say you have a canvas army coat. If you have a canvas army coat, you can actually go to a camping store like Bass Pro Shop and buy yourself a waterproof spray and will keep you dry all fall and winter. Number two, you're gonna wanna dial down on the bright colors. And usually during fall and winter, you're gonna want more muted colors. And this is also for a functional reason. Not only are they gonna be in style, but darker colors tend to absorb the sunlight and and keep it closer to your body which is going to keep you warmer whereas lighter colors or brighter colors do a better job of reflecting the sunlight which is definitely not what you want since you're probably going to be in freezing temperatures and you want to stay warm three you want to get rid of anything that's sleeveless it's a sad day boys i know summer is over which means all those hawaiian shirts and tank tops you got to put them away and in its place you want to replace it with long sleeve pieces that will keep you warm for example for fall i love trading my regular polos for long sleeve polos like this one from our sponsor McWeld. This has honestly become my go-to long sleeve polo for the season. It's a perfect piece to keep you warm on those crisp fall days, but it also comes equipped with rollable sleeves to be able to cool off as the temperatures fluctuate throughout the day. Honestly, Mac Weldon thought of everything. They paired that intuitive design with their genius silver knit fabric that is soft, breathable, and also a natural antibacterial that fights odor. I'm telling you, when you try this, you're never going to want to take it off. That's what makes Mac Weldon so freaking amazing. I recently just bought the brand and I'm honestly hooked. I want to try everything on their site at this point. These guys pretty much just set out to make smartly designed clothes clothes with premium fabric and a simple shopping experience for the end consumer. Basically everything I preach about in this channel. I also just received their great crew neck sweater and their waffle print sweater. All of these three long sleeves or sweaters which are just basic staples for fall and winter and also they just make great base layering pieces that I would recommend to you guys. The insane part is just how comfortable their advanced fabrics feel versus something cheaper that you would get at H&M. For example this waffle long sleeve from Mac Welding uses a warm knit fabric that essentially uses a hollow core fiber that traps heat without having to make the fabric heavy. So you have a lightweight sweater that has the protection and heat isolation of a thick sweater, but something that's more comfortable. Honestly, you guys have to check out Mech Weldon. Like I said, these guys kill it when it comes to basics for guys and their simple shopping experience. And if you wanna see just for yourself how easy it is to shop and how amazing their stuff is, there's gonna be a link down below where you guys can go check it out. You can go to MacWeldon.com and you can use code TMF to get 20% off. That's amazing. So if you guys wanna check it out, it'll be linked down below. The fourth thing you're gonna wanna invest in is in versatile outerwear. See, unlike dress shirts or t-shirts, you don't need to have 30 different jackets to look good in winter. Instead, you wanna have like three to four core pieces that are versatile that you can wear, mix and match, and layer. So for example, a very smart piece to have, a denim jacket. So on light cool days, you can wear a denim jacket with just a t-shirt. When it's getting a little colder, you can put a sweater underneath that denim jacket or a hoodie. Say it's getting colder, you can lay a dress shirt, sweater, and then a denim jacket on top. Now you have three layers. All of that, just because you got one versatile piece of outerwear. Number five, you wanna use the right accessory. So just cause it's fall and winter and your arms might not be as exposed as they would in summer, doesn't mean you're just gonna stop wearing accessories overall. There's still ways that you can accessorize or change your accessories to make sure that it flows with the outfit. For example, you know that you're gonna be layering a lot and you have a lot going on with your outfit already, you might wanna tone it down with accessories and wear something like a thin watch that you can easily tuck underneath all the layers versus something that's thicker. In the same manner, if you're gonna be wearing bracelets or necklaces or rings, you wanna keep in mind your outfit and make sure it balances it out. You never wanna overdo it or put on too much to the point that it just looks obnoxious or like there's too much going on and it'll confuse whoever is looking at you. Remember, simplicity is key, boys. Number six, you want to choose the right fabric. This is something that Mech Weldon does really well because they put a lot of thought into their fabric and how they design it to make sure it's breathable, comfortable, and 
appropriate for the season. So what you want to look for when you are buying clothes or using clothes for fall and winter, you want to make sure you're opting for thicker fabrics that are insulating heat. And just like choosing the right colors and removing brights, you're going to want to remove all those lightweight fabrics like your light cottons, your littens, and your light wool. Number seven, you want to use appropriate footwear. Fall and winter is definitely not a time where you're going to want to be wearing a lot of knit, canvas or anything that's open weave. So your Converse's, your Nike Vapor Max's, your Ultra Boost, these are horrible to wear during fall and winter because they're just really going to get ruined and your feet are going to be frozen. Instead, you want to opt for chunkier sneakers, especially leather ones, because leather ones are going to be a, do a better job of repelling against the moisture and also keeping your foot warm. Even better, your best option is boots. I mean, this is boot season. Why wouldn't you want to wear boots? Not only do they make you look taller, they look badass and on top of that it's the shoe that does the best job protecting against the element and finally number eight definitely don't forget your grooming fall and winter means drier temperatures less humidity which means your skin is going to dry out your lips are going to be chapped and you're going to be ashy Do not let your skin get dehydrated once it starts drying out this can cause wrinkles and other imperfections to happen which means you're definitely going to want to boost your hydration using a moisturizer every day you're definitely going to want to have to be carrying a chapstick around to make sure your lips are always on point and kissable and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it those are eight fashion rules that i think every guy should follow for fall and winter if you guys like this video and found it informative don't forget to drop us a like down below also don't forget to check out our sponsor mac weldon they're going to be linked down below as well like i said if you use code tmf you're going to get 20 percent off their stuff it's amazing so that's it for me today see you next